it was a good debate. It was a debate. There was both sides were, were represented, and we, we could see that, that, that that's, there's the groups in European society um, who are extremely worried about the way we produce our food and, and particularly the crop protection chemicals, uh, and also they're as worried about use of, of, of biotechnology, GMOs in future. They were represented, they made their views clear, and in a sense, you also heard the farmer's view and you heard the, the industry that supplies these products view. And so I, I certainly felt it, it, we, the, the, the organisers wanted an open debate. I felt they got it. Now, in a sense, 100 and, I, don't, I don't know whether there was 100 people in the room, but, but that debate needs to be replicated all over Europe. Um, because I think most 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 consumers, if if you said to them, if you start using the word pesticide, of course it's a scary word, and and why do we use them? And and they'd much rather we didn't. Um, I think if 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 individual consumers are confronted with individual farmers like Philip Huxtable, they quite quickly see why they need them, and and uh, and then when it's explained the, the the processes that these chemicals go through, I think there is a better understanding. But it's incredibly difficult to get that message over to, you know, four. 100 million consumers or whatever it is in a meeting with 100 people in it. I'm sure there is misinformation, but I think it's more that that that, that people are, it's, it's this constant problem and it's something we've got to live with because it's not going to change of this disconnect between, uh, between people and how their food is produced. And so it is the easiest thing in the world to take almost any part of the food chain uh, and and when it's uh, described in technical detail in front of the consuming public, they're usually horrified. Um, the, the, you know, in the UK press just this week, the, 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 that uh, uh, somebody decided to have a go at what, what's in wine and the, the various preservatives and additives that are in wine. And of course, as soon as you list that some chemicals in there, other than just grapes and water, uh, uh, people recoil in horror. They they simply don't understand modern food production technology both on the farm and and, and downstream uh, and so when it's explained their natural reaction is horror and yet their natural reaction also when they go shopping is to forget all that horror fill up the basket get what they want get home feed the kids uh, uh, and have fun and and so they know that their daily experience is food equals enjoyment generally speaking when you're eating it's generally the nice part of the day uh, and so as I say there's, there's disconnects all round the, 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 their experience of eating food they're not getting ill uh, for, for, from the pesticides in the food they, they know that but they'd never ask themselves that so there's a disconnect uh, uh, between that and then because people are so removed from farming I felt that, that I certainly personally uh, felt that the case for for a EU wide impact assessment was very strong and clearly and plainly made and there's no doubt there has not been an EU-wide independent thorough uh, impact assessment of the current set of proposals with the current cut-off uh, uh, criteria uh, uh, and, uh, and so on um, the, the evidence that the, the impact assessments that have been done have been done for one country the UK even though but by a highly respected uh, scientifically based source which showed there is a major problem uh, um, but that needs to be replicated. Uh, but, but in a sense, it is. It, it, you, you know, I have sympathy with with the with the German Green MEP uh, uh, to the extent that, that that how come this has come up so late? Uh, and, and I don't understand that either. But the fact is, we're where we are. Um, we don't have an impact assessment. The, the questions were asked, does it seem plausible, given that, that one side of the debate is saying there are potentially dire consequences from this decision that's connected with your everyday food? In, in that situation, I do think that even if it takes a year to do an impact assessment, it should be done. It's hard to argue against having better information on which to base political decisions. Because once this decision's made, uh, 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 given the hullabaloo and so on, we won't go back on it very quickly. So let's, let's take the right decision slowly rather than the wrong decision fast. Mm -hmm.